Teresa is looking for a second date update today. Hello, Teresa. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Excellent. Hanging in there. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, tell us how you met Sam. We'll go from there. Try to get your second date with Sam. Yeah, so I met him during, we were at BW3s during March Madness. We were mm -hmm. drinking and we were both rooting for UK and then... Total uh -huh. devastation when they lost. Yes. So he actually asked me to hold him, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite brilliant. That's a great move. <laughs> Broken hearted <laughs> man. So sad. Yes. <laughs> <Hold> me. <laughs> yeah, so I did. And it was a really nice hug. And it just felt very natural and comfortable. And oh my God, he smelled so good. That's nice. You smell like buffalo sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You smell like spicy garlic. Yeah. So it was St. Patrick's Day, and it was just packed, and everybody was a little bit extra crazy, of course, because yeah. St. Patty's Day. But we had a lot of fun. So as we were leaving, I took his phone and actually put my number in and told him to call me. Okay. Um, like and then he did, which was gold star. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. So then the very next day he called and he asked me to go watch some games with him on Saturday afternoon. And we actually went to varsity sports by that time. Mm -hmm. And it was just great. Cool. It is a crazy, it was a crazy weekend at basketball. That's for sure. Yeah. And neither of us had any specific teams we were rooting for. So we just got to have fun watching the games with no like crazy pressure. Right. And we had opportunities to talk about other stuff other than basketball, which was nice. Good. And it turns out we have a ton of stuff in common, which is great. He's a huge sports fan, and he's been for a long time. He said he hasn't met a woman in a while who's loved basketball as much as he did, and he's kind of got a rule that he's never going to date a woman who doesn't love sports again. I guess <laughs> there was. Okay. Yeah, that is something yeah. that's very helpful if you have that in common. Plus, I really like yeah. the fact that you were like, I, I loved March Madness and dating when I was single because it just feels like everybody is out. Everybody's having a great time. And it's just something that's like there's so many men everywhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can go on a fishing expedition. It's the perfect Seriously. weather for it. <laughs> and it's so easy to talk just like this, like, oh, man, they lost. Do you want a hug? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, I guess there was like an issue with he was married before and she would bitch about how much he would watch sports all the time. And yeah. so he he's just like, I can't have a girl who doesn't get it. And then, I mean, apparently like he asked her for a divorce during final four, three years ago or something. <laughs> oh, jeez, That's mm. rough. Yeah. So, I mean, it was good that we were on the same page there and that we had a bunch of other stuff in common as well. That's good. So, yeah, and we had several drinks. We were feeling it. We had a small kiss at the bar. Like, it was just a very sweet kiss. Um, and then he walked me to my car, and we got the bigger, juicier kiss, which was so good. I like that. <laughs> yeah, and it was, it was the kind of kiss that made me think there was going to be more, and... You know, we were texting the next day, and he said he'd call me on Monday, and then he never did. That was it? So, yeah, I started, I tried texting him a couple of times, and he kind of ghosted me, and I was like, okay, I have no idea what happened, because, like I said, it ended very well, and I was like, okay, this is going somewhere, and then nothing. Huh. Have there been any big games that would be distracting him right now? I mean, not. I don't think it would be like... To the point where he couldn't tell me anything, though. Like, I'm getting no response. Yeah, he could have shot you a text. I yeah. mean, we Some do guy. have a lot of time between games. Right. I'm, I get, like, if he's in something in the moment, I'm not, like, an immediate, expecting an immediate response. But no response at all is weird. And I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Okay. So the day after you saw him, there was a little bit of texting back and forth. But that fizzled out fairly quickly. You never did hear from him when it came to making final plans. Yeah, exactly. And no theories as to why? I can't figure out what it could have been. I mean, like I said, it, it from my perspective, it went really well. I wonder if he's one of those like serial daters, though. Like maybe he goes out during March Madness and just meets a lot of different people. He just wouldn't be the first. See who yeah. he's connecting with. Could be. Mm -hmm. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I hope not, too, for your sake. So we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll call Sam and see what's up. Does that sound good? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Stick around. We'll be right back after this. Second date update continues. Cincinnati's Q102. My house has a new glow. I love my windows. Universal windows. When it comes to 
windows, doors, roofing, siding, and gutters. I'm a fan of Universal Windows Direct. And right now, you can get $250 off entry and patio doors. Check out UWDSouthwestOhio.com or call 513-755-1800. I love my windows. They've got that brand new home effect. So Windows Direct. Teresa met Sam during March Madness. They were all hanging out at Buffalo Wild Wings when UK fell. To the Peacocks. Yes. And uh, this, so there was a, kind of a funny moment where he was like, I need to be held. It was hard. I mean, we really thought they were at least going to win the first one. Devastating. Totally blew up my bracket. Yeah. yeah, But it Jeff's left too. open the opportunity for another date. So they went out, hung out at uh, Varsity Sports Bar, watched more March Madness. There was a little kiss at the bar, bigger kiss in the car. Texted her the next day. Seemed like things were moving in the direction of a third date. Well, I guess that would be, a, I guess that would have been the second date, but then it never happened. And uh, she never heard from him again. But so it really it does feel like a third date you know what i mean because yeah. they had the first date where they like kind of hung they out met. sort of impromptu yeah. style. and then the second date was like them being on a real date yeah so this yeah. was kind of like a third date Teresa. unless there's anything else you thought of that you think we need to know before we make the call now's the time no i think that i think you guys covered it all okay let's call them up hello hi sam yeah, who's this? There he is. We catching at a bad time. It's Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you? Wait, Jeff and Jen? Who? Uh, from Q102. Sorry. And we got you on speakerphone. How are you? I'm okay, but this is kind of weird. Why is the radio station calling me? Uh, nothing bad. We just got a call from an admirer, shall we say, someone you spent some time watching March Madness with. Do you remember Teresa, who you met at Buffalo Wild Wings, and you guys hung out at Varsity the next day? <laughs> Okay, wow. Yeah, seriously? Yeah, she called about you. She said she misses you. She had fun hanging out and thought you guys were going to get together again the following Monday, and that never happened, and we're wondering what happened okay. to you. <laughs> I mean, this is... I mean, this is just funny. I don't, I don't know what to say. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe. How about just the truth? You want to know the truth? What is the truth? <laughs> so, yeah, we had that date. Um, I thought it was pretty good. But the Monday after our date, I got this huge package delivered to work, like huge box. And I opened it, and it's from her. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Then I look inside, and it's filled with all kinds of balls. Like, like what kind of balls? Like basketballs, baseballs, soccer balls, lacrosse balls, tennis balls, racket balls. I mean, like <laughs> literally every kind of ball that you can imagine. And then she writes this note saying something like, I had a ball with you on Saturday. Oh, I love that. I'm excited that. to spend more time watching ball with you. <laughs> but I'm most excited about playing with your balls. <laughs> <laughs> that I love is her. Amazing. <laughs> Same. That's so That's great. That's such a solid. I Why? Mean, How I is mean. that a bad thing? <laughs> Well, and she didn't mean the basketballs at my house. I'm going to say that much. Um, <laughs> well, no. We know. Well, I think it's funny that you guys love that. I mean, this is to my work. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Well, she probably didn't have your home address, did she? I don't really know how she got my work address, to be honest. Well, you told her where you worked, I'm sure. Probably Google. That conversation. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that would be pretty easy to find. So explain to me, why was this like, if something like that showed up at our work, people would get a kick out of it. Oh, I mean, that would be that the would be, Everybody would be like, that's awesome. People <laughs> used to do that when they wanted to work here. They would send all the yeah, balls they used to the to, program exactly. director. This is 2022. It's a little bit different. I don't know. I feel like people don't do that anymore. <laughs> but... It, People don't do what? Let me explain the reason why it was such a problem. So there were about 10 co-workers who were all standing around watching me open this thing. Because um, the box had to be pretty big. If it had all those balls in oh, it, yeah. that's a good-sized box. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Um, so they're all standing around watching me, and I, I can't even begin to tell you how much shit I've been taking at the office like after this. But um. it's just it's causing me grief, to be honest, because I have been dating a co-worker's sister. Oh. Okay. Yeah, until uh, two days before the tournament started. Um, so she's standing right there when I opened this box up. Yeah, well, that could be a little awkward. And so she was pissed that I just yeah. started seeing someone right away. 
so now it's turned into like a big thing because that ex's sister, the one who was standing right there, is technically my supervisor. <sighs> okay. So work has been um, really uncomfortable to say the least. Mm. Maybe there's going to come a day where, like, I think that the whole box of balls was funny and clever, or whatever. You know, you guys are laughing, but but right now I'm just I'm not feeling good about it, and I'm really paying for it. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, it, it, is it seriously causing that much grief at work that it's making your life miserable? Yeah, I'm nervous about my job, you know? Uh, like, I, not to mention, I'm, I'm a really private kind of guy, so the personal life meshing with my work life is just making things really awkward for me. And Yeah. How intense was this relationship <laughs> with your uh, supervisor's sister, I think you said? I mean, we were dating for like a few months, maybe. Uh, but okay. I think, you know, she was a little Which bit was more probably a bad her. idea to begin with, That's dating your I'm supervisor's thinking. sister. You know, if you want to have, yeah, if you want to, you know, talking about well, keeping personal life and work life separate. Sure. You're, you're not wrong. Well, Sam, yeah. we have Teresa on the line. Teresa. I honestly feel so awful that that has made work, like, uncomfortable for you. Like, I really didn't know about your ex. You never told me about that, so I really didn't know. And I was just trying to be funny and make you laugh. And I just feel really awful about it that I've, like, caused you trouble. Which is too bad because I think that's the greatest move ever. I love that move. That's yeah, I thought move. it was really clever and funny and, like, it was quirky. And the fact that it's not a common thing was, like, I thought would be cute. But I really, I really did not mean to make your workplace an awkward situation for you. I, feel, I, I just feel terrible about it. I get it. You could see why someone would think this is funny. I, I just, I just need some time to like process this and hope that you know the situation dies down at work, um, and then maybe we can reconsider. Okay. Well, I know that's probably yeah, not. I mean, I hope everything goes okay with your job. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And I did just kudos to the ball move. I think that's fabulous. Yeah, that's really great. I think that's really cool. And for now, the only balls that are going to get played with are the ones you sent in the box. Yeah. For now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Teresa, we appreciate you putting yourself out there. Best of luck to you. And Sam, good luck to you. Thank, All right, you, guys. thank you, guys. All right. So if you need our help with a second date update, just send us an email, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. All right. Coming up, your shot at $1,000. The 1K letter of the day is coming up. Plus, how